Hello, it's Markham and here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be playing with the Cell Fracture and just some cool stuff that we can do with it. Now, first off, let's just start. Press that like button, please. That one over there. And if you're new to the channel, the subscribe button. Come on. You know you want to. Let's start off. Let's enable the Cell Fracture add-on. Say so Edit, Preferences. Just type in Cell. There it is. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now it's enabled. So let's start off by deleting that default cube. Always delete that. Shift A, let's add in a cube. I'm going to go tab into edit mode W and then subdivide. And I'm just going to smash that a few times. That's a little bit too many. So let's undo one. I'm going to go G, Z, one, just to move it up a little bit. Tab into edit mode, shift A, let's add in a plane. I'm just going to scale that up. Now let's start off with selecting our cube. From here, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add two materials. You can create materials however you want, but I'm gonna press N. I'm just gonna go into extreme PBR combo and I'm going to add in some tiles first. Mm, these ones, map kit, let's add these two, add new. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and just quickly add some concrete, probably this one here, add new. And we'll leave it at that for now. Now let's press N just to get rid of that panel. Now let's press spacebar or F3. I'm just gonna type in cell and we're gonna select cell fracture selected mesh objects. I can pretty much leave everything standard except there's a few things that I am gonna change. I'm gonna change the material in here from zero to one. Now what that's done is, is zero is our tile material and one is our concrete material. And we want our interior surfaces of the shell of the cell fracture modifier to be concrete. So that's why we've done that. The other thing as well is our margin is 0.00. I'm gonna click on that. 0.001, lies. Change that to zero. I'm gonna leave it at about a hundred objects. Just let's quickly go through this and then I'm just gonna press okay. And now it's quickly done that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select our cube that we've created and now I'm just gonna delete that cube. Huh, for some reason we're missing an object. Has that gone somewhere walkabouts? I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but for some reason that's gone. You can just tweak the settings and maybe that might've been causing the issue. So from here, I'm gonna select one of these services. Actually, let's jump into Eevee. And then we can see our tiles and we can see our interior faces is that concrete that we created. So from here, I'm gonna select one of these and then go Z into wireframe mode and let's just select everything. Go back into solid mode. I'm gonna come over here into the objects panel, into the physics property, sorry. I'm gonna click rigid body. And from here, I'm gonna change it to active dynamics. I'm gonna start off with it deactivated and then let's expand that menu and start deactivated. So as soon as I press play, nothing's gonna happen. But at the moment, we've only done it for this one cell. We need to move it across to everything. So we go into objects, rigid body, copy from active. And now every one of these cells has this same object. Now, if I were to press play, nothing happens, you little ripper. The other thing we've got to do is press select our floor, rigid body, and we're gonna change this from active to passive so that now when the cell decides to disintegrate, it's gonna kind of just land on the floor, which is what we want. Now we need something to give it a bit of an activation. So I'm gonna go control A, add in a UV sphere, G, Z, let's move that up. Probably, I just wanna hit, you know, like a corner piece there. GZ. Let's come into rigid body, change that to active. Well, that's really active. I'm just going to quickly put smooth mesh on it. Shade smooth. There we go. And now if I press play, bam, you can see it just kind of all crumbles apart, which is exactly what we wanted. However, we can do a little bit more to this as well. So I don't want this side here to be crumbling over. And the only way I've really worked out and how to do it is to now, I'm just gonna select one and then press C and then kind of just select a few of these um, cells like so. Let's make sure we get that bottom one or the bottom ones down here as well. Um, I think I've gotten a few too many. So let's go C again and I can press middle mouse button to clear some of them. All right, whoops, we still got some at the top here. So let's go C, middle mouse and kind of disintegrate some of them. What we need to do is now come into the type here on the rigid body and create passive. And we go object, rigid body, and we will change this all copy from active. And the reason why we're doing that passive bit is if we were to just remove the rigid body, then all these particles would kind of just go through it. So let's go play. Bam. And there we have it. Cool little effect. 
Please, once again, if you haven't, like button. And if you haven't, subscribe button. <laughs> okay, just... <laughs> just a little bit further. Oh. So I'll be releasing videos pretty much every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesdays are live streams here on YouTube and Sunday is as well. We're going to be starting to create another project, another short animated film. So yeah, check me out live. I'm more than happy for you guys to come past. I actually want you guys to come past and say hi.